Assalamu alaikum guys. We have a new exciting update for Ramadan and few other things. Uh, smart Azan is basically a software which automates Azan on your smart speakers such as Google Home, Nest or Amazon Alexa or you can even play Azan on your own computer. You can easily install it on your Windows computer. Please view the description below for complete setup instructions if this is your first time. Uh, or you can also visit smartazan.com for details. So I assume you already have Smart Azan installed, so let's get started. Uh, I will show you how to enable Ramadan settings. So I have Smart Azan installed on my computer. I will just launch it. Uh, the new options could be found under Azan settings and under additional settings. Once you go there, you will see a few options, announce Azan name. So basically this will announce uh, which Azan uh, system is about to play. If you want that option, leave it checked. If not, you can just uncheck it. Ramadan settings basically uh, before Maghrib and Fajr Azan, it will do uh, the special dua for fast. If you want to disable, you can disable it. And I also added two more options. Uh, let's say if you want to play some surah or some special dua before Azan or after Azan, you can do that as well. Um, all you have to do is just check this box or uncheck this box if you want to enable. If you notice, I don't have any URL for uh, before Adan, so you need to file an MP3 file, find an MP3 file, I'm sorry, and paste it here. A YouTube URLs will not work, it has to be something like this, uh, MP3 files and host it on HTTP or HTTPS server. Once you have the settings uh, checked, just hit save settings, and you're done, you can minimize it, and you're all set. Uh, for this update to work, make sure you uninstall the old version and uh, install the new version by visiting smartazan.com. So to uninstall the old version, simply click on the start menu and type in add or remove. Then click on this option. Windows will show you all install programs. I want to uninstall smartazan, so I will just find it and I will click uninstall. Once that's done, just uh, go to smartazan.com and click on download and simply download the new version install it and you should be good to go note for the raspberry pi users uh, you guys gonna have to uh, install the service on uh, raspberry pi again and once you do that uh, you need to sync it with raspberry pi as well uh, both both of these steps are required for raspberry pi once you these do, do these two steps your Raspberry Pi should be updated with the new version as well. If you have any questions, then please uh, email me, contact me, or leave comments below. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.